Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I am your host, Scott Ramp, and to the right of me is also your host, <laughs> Noel McFoy, and that was Asaph Adonai on piano. Asaph, what song was that? That is a song called Shot in the Dark from the Pink Panther oh. movies with the NF. French police detective, uh, my, Inspector my, Jacques Clouseau. My nice, I love that. Yeah. that was my fun. favorite scene in that movie was the uh, is the nudist colony where mm -hmm. where they tastefully hid all uh, all their junk. <laughs> <laughs> well, like it, it was like one of the first movies where they actually really really like what I noticed when they first did it because I remember seeing Austin Powers, the second movie where like the whole like beginning sequence of the you know the spy who shagged me mm -hmm. is where he's um, being um, blocked like he's naked but yeah he's always being constantly blocked by yeah. like, either um, yep. signs or anything like that it's so pretty funny. one of the and then when I saw this movie I was like oh my god because it's totally one of those movies that we're just like it's not really a Pink Panther movie yeah it was it's just called a shot in the dark and it, it kind of it had the same characters and all well that you stuff. know the actor Peter Sellers was the original Dr. Clouseau mm -hmm. or Inspector Clouseau oh, wasn't that one of his last did. movies he did yeah, he did a series of movies. He, who he died relatively young, but he did a series of those Pink Panther movies, the original ones. I know they've done some remakes since, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Peter Sellers is the original. Nice, great. Cool. But we have a great show for you guys today. Uh, I have Hallmark or Bullmark. I have a couple programs I do want to tease for uh, tonight and tomorrow night. And of course, uh, let's talk about weather. The weather yeah. is looking great today. Of course, tonight you have a 40% chance of rain. Um, but currently, you know, it's it's in good standing. It's a, it was a nice warm morning. It's nice to get out and about. It, right now would be the perfect time to go, like, run up a mountain, go, like, hiking, work up a sweat. And then, you know, it'll be nice and cool and chill. It, it's just perfect for outdoor activities right now to heat yourself up. But of course, uh, later today it's going to be a high of 73 degrees. But of course, the rest of the week does look like it's probably going to rain. Thursday, you have a 100 to a 60 percent chance of, ch of showers, breezy, and of course, you know, you, you last couple weekends, it, it, you know, it's so windy that uh, the uh, screen door of my apartment completely broke. Oh, really? Yeah, you know oh the, the mechanics that keep it open. Yeah. It, it the, the screws like busted right oh out there God. and it's a metal door wow that is when you have you been leaving your door open though Do yeah i leave it open and yeah. i kind of leave it latched That's because why. it can be really uh it, it can be a huge pain sometimes oh, yeah. in the morning especially and... that um uh, the button mm -hmm. on the on the on the door itself is like you, it's hard to get in from the outside you have to like literally like push really hard and like yeah yank it yank open it but you know yeah. it's extra security <laughs> yeah <laughs> from myself it's true yeah. it's for you scott yeah, yeah. But feel secure in yourself by logging on to wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice, we made you write it out twice because that's all it takes. Uh, it's our secret code for people who really <laughs> want to know more information about our very own morning show. You can also like us on Facebook because we post everything that we show on our on our show, everything that we show on our show is posted on <laughs> our Facebook page, as long as um, following us on Twitter. I'll tweet you back if you tweet us. It's at Wake Up Missoula. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter. It's at MCAT TV Missoula. And we have a Facebook page. You can like us on there. But to find out more information, check us out on MCAT.org. Yes, and of course, uh, you can uh, make your own show. Um, if you want to be a part of MCAT, we have orientation every second Wednesday of the month at 5.30. Um, I usually just kind of like plug it every single Wednesday because, you know, it's, it's it always happens on a Wednesday. And of course, it was last week, but of course, it's never too late. If you guys want to come in and you're really interested in making um, a television program for our channel and for yourself and for Missoula, then you can come in and make your own program. It, it's a simple, and of course, if you want us to go out and shoot your... Um, program you can also fill out a media assistance grant on our website it, it, it's under a forms tab and here's a little taste of some of the stuff that we also film and this is also going to be on today at 5 p.m. on MCAT. Uh, there are there are mysteries there are things which which we cannot penetrate it's interesting how many mysteries we can take when we read a poem mysteries are small in the poems they are a few words that we cannot understand Will we abandon understanding and go to sleep at that point? We, we pass over some of these things. Uh, you don't know if what the four shades of white perhaps are, uh, and you, you wonder about this. You pull back into the truce you've made with yourself. Is that a... All right, so nice. of course, um, I, can, I can think of four shades of white. Eggshell. 
Um, clouds. Cloudy. Clouds have a couple of shades of white. Um, beige. Beige. Um, what, what's the fourth one? Um, something that's kind of like a white color. Uh, pearl. Pearl. Mm -hmm. Yes. There yeah. you go. There's so four shades of white. That, so the mystery is over. So that, you guys don't have to watch that program. Was that an analysis of a poem? Yes. Cool. That yeah. looked very interesting. Yeah, it, it, it's really interesting because there's a lot of uh, persons lecture series bringing experts and like professors or retired mm -hmm. professors, uh, professors. No, okay. Anyways. Professors. Yeah. Yes. Erds. Yeah. Professors. Um, and so that'll be uh, tonight at five o'clock. Yep. And Channel you can check that out. Yeah. And of course, we are showing this on our Video On Demand channel as well. Um, if you want to get there, you can log on to our website, mcat.org. You can go click on one of our um, tabs, 189 or 190. 189 is more of our public um, programming, while 190 is more of our civic program, which consists of a lot of city council meetings, bike boards, committees, yada, 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 most stuff like that. And you just click on it and it brings you to uh, 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 an array of pages which include this video that I'm about to show you right now. Things started moving a lot. All right, you guys, hello. We are back. Uh, that was a beautiful moment of zen for you guys. Uh, and that'll be on channel 189 at six o'clock, it looks like. But we've got some community events for you. This is what's happening in Missoula today, starting at 11. We're over at Spectrum Discovery area. The Discovery bench is optics. Their uh, Shakespeare First Folio weekly activity theme is telescope making. Uh, their brain lab is worm taste tests. And then they also have poison and bitter receptors as part of their Shakespeare First Folio theme. Also at Spectrum Discovery Area, they've got their science sprouts. This is for their little ones. Uh, they're doing chemistry today. So this is for ages kids two to five. Uh, over at the Children's Museum of Missoula, starting at 11, they've got some Taekwondo. So their friends from championship training are going to swing by and teach them how to do some cool tricks and kicks and blocks. Over at the Missoula Public Library is Discovering Missoula Public Library Databases. That starts at 1230. Uh, and so if you want to do some research and don't really know how or sick of looking on Google, you can go here and they'll teach you what databases to use. So call 721-2665 for more information to sign up. It's not until 1230 today, so you've got some time if you get on it quickly. Over the Lifelong Learning Center, starting at 1, is it getting started with Excel class. Um, and so Excel is really good for organizing things and making schedules and pretty much like charting data. And so they're going to teach you how to use Excel and you can make your own spreadsheet and keep yourself organized. So that starts at 1. Uh, and then we shoot back over to the Missoula Public Library for the middle school writers at 3. This is for writers in grades 6 through 9 to give and get good feedback, play with words, and eat some chocolate. Uh, there is a free seminar on leadership development starting at 3.30 over at uh, Glacier Human Resource Services, it looks like. Um, and so this is for owners, managers, supervisors, and HR personnel. You can learn about bolstering profits, individual coaching, and 360 degree feedback strategies. Great. Uh, over the Top Hat Lounge at 4.30, they've got their <coughs> fish happy hour. So this is the Jam Band Fish. For a couple hours, they've got a uh, happy hour, they have audio show, they've got trivia, they have videos, all dedicated to that band every Wednesday. Uh, over at Homeward, they've got a Rent Wise workshop at six. Um, and so it's uh, 
teaching you how to be a successful renter. You'll learn about household budgeting, impacts of credit and rental history, fair housing practices, uh, the landlord's perspective, your rights and responsibilities, um, and steps to finding and getting into rental housing. That's perfect for high schoolers. Uh, over at the Starving Artist Community, or Starving Artist Cafe and Art Gallery, they're having their community open mic at six. Also at six at the Zootown Arts Community Center is their paint and pour. Um, they follow along and paint a beautiful photo while uh, drinking some wine. Pretty fun. Uh, at the Missoula Public Library, there's a crisis intervention team. This is a presentation, and it's uh, talking about creating effective partnerships. So you're going to learn, through this, you can learn how to, uh, let's see, how law enforcement is partnering with local resources to offer community-based solutions to help those suffering with mental illness. Which is, that's great, because that's why a lot of people are homeless, is a lot of mental illness, and uh, they don't have the resources that they need to get themselves better. So that's good, great. That's from six to eight. Uh, over at the Lifelong Learning Center, also at six, they've got a beginning computer fundamentals class. Um, and so you, if you have no idea how to use a computer, you can go there and find out. Uh, over at Taste Buds Kitchen, they've got a cooking class for adults. It's tailgating favorites. It starts at 6.30 and it costs $40 per person. Over at Traveler's Rest State Park this evening at 7, they've got a summer storyteller. Uh, Stephen Small Salmon is sharing traditional, so traditional stories, and he's a Salish elder. Mm. Yeah, this would be pretty cool. Uh, over at the Sunrise Saloon is Country Dance Lessons with instructor Kathy Clark. It starts at 7, and it's $5 per lesson. And then we've got some music tonight. Top Out Lounge has got the English beat that starts at 8. This is a band that's been around since the 80s, so that's pretty cool. Uh, over the Eagles, they've got karaoke at 8.30. Badlanders got karaoke at 9. Uh, the Palace has got Milk Crate Wednesday at 9. And the Sunrise Saloon has also has karaoke at 9. So that's what's going on in your community today. We are switching gears now. We're going to Musical Notes with Asaf Adonai. Well, first I want to start off by um, saying that today starts the Special Olympics here in Missoula. Awesome. And they'll have athletes from all across Montana coming here to compete for something like three or four days, cool. something like that. So I want to acknowledge the Special Olympic Games. It's a pretty cool event. I, yeah. played, I played for that once years Did ago. You? Cool. Yeah, at Loyola Marymount University in California uh -huh. they, when they had their version of Special Olympics at the time. Nice. And now, to start off, Scott, when I was your age, uh -huh. when I was your age, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> when you mention my name, I, I have to react. <laughs> that's okay. Anyway, my former boss, Pat Gidry, made it possible for me to play with our guest. And our guest is Frances Rose Shore, Shore, known to the world as Dinah Shore. And there she was as a young woman there, looking very lovely. Yeah, I actually got to perform with this lady once, play with this lady. Oh. Nice. That That's was such cool. a cool thing because this lady in her time was one of the most well-known entertainers in the world, probably in history. And so did she sing and you played the piano? Uh, uh, yeah, well actually trumpet. Trumpet, but, cool. uh, it was It was pretty cool. Anyway, our guest is Diana Shore. Diana Shore was an American singer, actress, television personality, a top chop, let me say it again, a top charting female vocalist throughout the 1940s. She reached the height of her popularity as a recording artist during the big band era during the 40s and 50s, but she got even more famous a decade later when she entered into television. She hosted a variety of television shows. One was called the variety show for Chevrolet where they had musical guests at that time. And then she went on to do two variety shows or, or, called the Dinah Shore Show. It was sort of like a talk show, but not in the sense of what we know talk today. This was more like entertainment and news at that time. And here's a clip with her on the Carol Burnett Show. They were doing their version of Gone with the Wind, called <laughs> Went, W-E-N-T, Went with the Wind. Very outrageous skit. And on the right, Dinah Shore played Char uh, Scarlett O'Hara's friend. Scarlett didn't think much of her. So, you know, <laughs> just like the movie. So anyway, um, T 
TV Guide ranks Diana Shore number 16 on their list of the top 50 stars of all time. That's how popular this lady was. Everything this lady ever did turned to gold. She was just like Queen Midas instead of King Midas. <laughs> and, there, and there were two other famous singers that came after Dinah that she was compared with. One was Doris Day, who I did a story on last year. And Patti Page was another famous singer of the past. But of the three, Dinah Shore, she set the standard. Finally, my final words about her. She was, she was born into a Russian Jewish immigrant family. And um, she got her break in 1939 on a national radio program for CBS. And the rest is history. And this woman spent her entire life singing and doing talk shows until she finally retired. And I, it doesn't say when we lost her, but uh, let me see. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. We lost her in 1994 at the age of 77. Oh, wow, okay. But she spent her entire life singing, singing. She sang with Frank Sinatra, Loretta Lynn, Doris Day, and just a list of other people I wouldn't have time to mention. Cool. So what a great legacy nice. she left. And that's cool that you got to play with her. I got to play with and Diana And so Shore. where were you guys when you were playing? Were you at like It was a, in Monterey, California. The okay. concert was uh, for suicide prevention. Oh, interesting. And she was the main featured guest. Oh, very cool. And so, so you were like a backup band? Well, we had our own band first, but yeah. when she went on, I wound up getting to play anyway. So. Oh, cool! That's <laughs> yeah. neat, Asa. That was a fun treat, and I remember, and I, I got to talk to her, and I said, "Hey, I used to watch your show, you know, because oh, her show was yeah. so popular." Awesome. Diana Shore. My parents used to watch her show, so yeah. it was kind of a neat little treat from the past. Very cool, Asa. Thank, Thank you. you. Very cool. Well, you guys, that was musical notes with Asa Adonai. And up next, we're going to see some more um, programming here on MCAT and it's Global Public Health, talking about Ethiopia. 30 women clustered. This is about six different small teams. And the six groups have one cluster, meaning about 30 women in the similar area, and one with a leader. And this leader has frequent communication with the health extension workers working here. And they have meeting every, every two weeks. They report morbidity, pregnancy, Mortality, every important health event to the health extension worker. That makes the uh, network effective. So the health development army, health extension program network contributes to improve access. And now the, 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 the strategy works or contributes a lot. So we have a different uh, approach compared with the previous time. The health extension program and also the health post and the this strategy. Because of All right. Hi you guys. We're back and this is what's going on in your community tomorrow. So Starting at 8 a.m. over at the Holiday Inn, they're having a Northwest Clean and Affordable Energy Conference. Um, and so the expert panelists are going to address opportunities for a cleaner and more affordable energy future for Montana, including energy transitions, um, the emerging large-scale solar market, and strategies for delivering energy efficiency in rural areas. So very important, all very important. Starts at 8. Uh, over at the University of Montana, they've got a campus thrift sale. So the Residence Life uh, uh, Office and people have finally got on to the train that when people move out of their dorms, they just leave all their stuff. And so they've uh, finally started collecting it and selling it, which is a bummer and a good thing. It's good for them because they're making money, but also a bummer for all the people that could capitalize on that for free. And now it's going to be really gross, too. Yeah, now it's going to be gross, yeah. So this is their thrift thrift store uh, starts at 9 a.m. tomorrow and so uh, all proceeds support campus sustainability projects yeah over the Providence Center we've got NAMI Missoula weekly meeting and starts at 10 this is a free weekly meeting for anyone affected by mental illness or interested in learning about NAMI uh, at the Children's Museum of Missoula they've got family yoga at 11 also at 11, over at uh, Spectrum Discovery area, the Discovery Bench is astronomy. Their first Shakespeare first folio theme activity is telescope making, still. Uh, and then, I don't know if it has anything to do with Shakespeare, but okay. No, I don't know if it has anything to do with Shakespeare at all. But whatever, they're doing it. 
Uh, and then also the brain lab is senses, and they're also going to be learning more about poison and bitter receptors. It's kind of like the theme week. Uh, over at the Lifelong Learning Center at 1 is caring for your laptop class. Uh, you can learn how to care for it, what can go wrong, and how to properly store it and bring it around if you have no idea what to do. Uh, this is kind of interesting class. Over at the Missoula Public Library starting at 4 tomorrow is a discussion about the financial impact of child care. I guess over two-thirds of kids are in child care while their parents are working. And so that can cost up to $800 a month. And so they're talking about... Um, how there can be other resources available and what resources are available, the impact of this expense on food security, and the legislation that affects cost. Uh, over in the UN Forestry Building in room 106, there is a discussion. It's, a, it's an evening presentation by Char Miller, uh, and this, he is presenting his new book. It's called America's Great National Forest, Wilderness, and Grasslands, A Celebration. So his re he'll read from his book and discuss the history of um, some notable national forests. So that is from 4 to 5.30. Uh, over at the Starving Artist Cafe and Art Gallery at 5.30, they've got a Ukrainian folk music concert. Uh, this couple's name is Raven and Rose. And I want to show you guys their uh, concert poster because it's just awesome. Yep. It's great. I mean, look at that. I just love their whole aesthetic. I love their look. I love their look. It's so good. But these guys are serious. Like, you can tell that accordion and so <laughs> they uh, strike a balance between original pieces and spirited instrumentals uh, putting a modern spin on gypsy and Eastern European folk music yeah so we gotta chase the gypsies out of Missoula no, yeah it's pretty I think it's really cool so that starts at 530 that and it's great. free and they've traveled all over the country and we're like one of their last five stops. Yeah. And, and it's a good excuse to actually go to the Starving Harvest Cafe because it's been, it's, it hasn't even been a year since they opened. I think it's been a, about a year. Almost, yeah. I, so. uh, I, I, I do know for a fact that uh, they do the downtown piano thing there. They mm. have the, um, you know, the, yeah, when I they deliver all the piano. pianos, Starving Artist is one yeah. of the pianos. And Aesop, have you played there yet? Yeah, I've, I've been there. How is it? I like that piano, it's the best one in my opinion. Well, is it, isn't it indoors? Well, it's kind of like in the patio. They might have it indoors oh. now, but at the time when it first started, it was out in that little patio section. Oh, there. so would you say so the please. piano is uh, under a pavilion? Well, I guess you could say that, maybe. <laughs> yes. Scott loves the word pavilion. Uh, yeah. yeah, I guess you could say that, come to think of it. I, I wouldn't have thought of it that way, but yeah. But it is a nice piano. And though. so do you guys know if they're doing the pianos again out uh, on the streets? I haven't heard anything. They'll probably send me they're, an email when it gets closer to they that They usually time. wait until after uh, Memorial Day. It, 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 it's, like so, it's so interesting how like a lot of like things don't happen until after Memorial Day, mm -hmm. and then everything stops after Labor Day weekend. It's true. Yeah. But that's usually like, they work with the park systems pretty mm -hmm. much on that, and that's mostly like government type summer activities. Yeah. And put on through the downtown association. But of course, <laughs> that's here nor there, and I'm pretty sure they're still, I don't know if they're done looking for bands to play mm -hmm. at the uh, Out to Lunch or Downtown Tonight stuff. I'm pretty sure they already have all those booked, but of course, they're always looking for people to um, use the used cares park. And I, I, they're, they're reasonable rates. You can you could get set up there for like, a yeah. thousand to fifteen hundred dollars for a day, depending yeah. upon if it's a, a peak night or we like a weekend mm -hmm. or week or a weekday. Yeah, yeah. That's usually the range of price. Mm -hmm. All right, we're moving on. We are going to be over at the Zootan Arts Community Center at 6 p.m. for Inspire, Connect, and Create. And so what it is, it's just a drop-in art class for individuals to come and work on their own projects if they want to. Um, I don't know, okay, so I don't know if they provide materials, but it's just, I'm sure they do. It's just like a good space for you, yeah. Uh, over at the Missoula Insectarium, they've got a drink and draw. Starts at six. So uh, during this event, their artist in residence, Bela Arietta, will be just demonstrating how to draw some of your favorite live anthropods while you sit back, relax, and enjoy a signature cocktail. It starts uh, at six, and it's only ten dollars. Over at Sentinel High School, they are teaching a Korean cuisine class, also at six. 
And then the Good Food Store has also a cooking class. They're teaching out of a, it's the cookbook club out of a Heidi Swanson's Near and Far. Uh, so they're going to be making Polzo Verde, grated cucumber salad with oregano, olives, and almonds. Uh, carrot and sake salad with sweet lemon dressing. Wow. Yeah. They usually just do one thing. Well, this is uh, from, they're trying to do dishes from all around the world. Hmm. Yeah. So, uh, Vagrelli Maki or corn, cilantro, and peanut medley. And then Sabian with Satrines. I don't know how to say that. But these are all from like San Francisco, Morocco, Japan, India, and France. Wow. Yeah. That's really pretty cool. And that is $35. And then it looks like my last event is uh, at the Roxy Theater. It's Indigenous Cinema. Indigenous Cinema is a monthly screening of films that expel that celebrate the diverse experience of, of Indigenous people around the world. And it is called Chasing the Light. It starts at seven o'clock. So that's what's going on in your community. As always, check out MissoulaEvents.net, University of Montana website, The Independent, and The Missoulian. I get all of my information from the Missoula Independent, uh, the MissoulaEvents.net. Mm. So you can go there check out the events i've talked about and then also see other things i didn't talk about but of course uh there's some more programming i want to talk about uh tomorrow night we of course tomorrow was uh global public health which i believe is going to be on tomorrow at 5 p.m but then um tomorrow night it's another uh, you know it's uh, here's a little more taste of writing at work but of course it's after 10 so there's definitely some language in it as well and um i i picked this clip out of it and i hope there's no like <laughs> in this particular clip um, but without further ado, here is what's going to be uh, right in at work, which is on tomorrow night at 10 p.m. And when we come back, we'll do Hallmark or Bullmark. About this one sentence here, how did I, how did I go here and you rewrite it? And it was so freaking easy to make it really good. I just had to get to where I was okay with the fact that, because look, we all think we're genius when we finish draft one and type the end. It's like, this is going to change the world. This is going to change writing forever for everyone. And then you read it again a week later and go, oh, this is terrible. So, so once you get past that, it's emotional. Some of it's an emotional thing. I'd get it deeper into it and go, oh, so just... Resign yourself to the fact that you're writing, you're rewriting, you're putting. Well, I mean, you, you bring up a good point. All right, so of course. That's a uh, good point. Mm -hmm. I like that. That yeah, that kind of makes sense because there are lots of times where I'll make something and I'll look at it later and I'm like, oh my god, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Well, guys, uh, it's time for our favorite game to play: Hallmark or Bullmark. <laughs> are you guys ready to play this game that we've been playing for well, maybe over a year now? But anyways, are you ready, ASF? Yes, sir. Hit it. When a small town teen, David, um, video promposal to a star goes viral, it scores him a date to prom with his celebrity crush. But when the star, Alex, begins to fall for the boy's teacher, Mr. Walsh, things get complicated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> As media begins to hound the blossoming romance between star and teacher, along with jealousy from longtime crush and friend of the boy, Heidi. <laughs> and the movie's called Date with Love. <laughs> is this a Hallmark original movie or is this complete bullmark? <laughs> I don't even know. I have no idea. This sounds ridiculous. Oh my god. Um, okay, let's see. I'm gonna say Hallmark. You say, say Hallmark? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with you, Asaf, and I'm gonna say Hallmark too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, you are right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. That was a lucky Good. guess. Yeah, it was. Well, yeah. It's so uh, ridiculous. Well, like when I was looking it up on um, online, like they literally had two sentences of the whole movie. So I had to watch the video preview of the movie. I'm just like, this is not any better. No. And you don't even, they don't even have the real pre people's names in the thing. It's just like, oh, Mr. Walsh? What's his first name? It's yeah. like, I don't know. So I, I looked him up on IMDb and it's like, oh, it's Mr. Walsh. It's like, oh, Mr. Walsh. And Alex, they didn't even have the last name for Alex for the movie star. And it's like, they, it, it's really lazily done on it's like, Sounds terrible. But yeah, I can't wait. that's going to be on, uh, I believe it's uh, May 27th or something. Great. Oh, no, it's going to be on this week. Tune in, you guys. Yep. Sounds so, good. Good quality it'd television. Be interesting. Yeah. So, are you guys ready for your next yeah. uh, round two? We would do this in two rounds. Oh, wait, here's round two for Hallmark or Bullmark. 
Dana has a longtime crush on neighbor Ben for as long as she can remember. And when longtime girlfriend Debbie breaks up with Ben, Dana sees this as her once in a lifetime chance to get the man of her dreams. Only problem, Ben is broken hearted and Dana is there to help him pick up the pieces. But as a friend, Things only get worse when Debbie decides to take Ben back. Will Dana get the man she's always wanted or will she take back seat once again? And the movie's called Chances at Love. Is this a Hallmark original movie or is this Bullmark? God, once again, I don't know because this is like, this would go either way. This is like the most generic Hallmark movie I've ever heard. I guess, uh, like Asaph can say, you're gonna have to do a shot in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're like, Nice, nice. See, okay. nice callback. You see how I'm gonna, yeah, I saw that. That yeah, was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bring that back. Nice. Mm. Yeah. I think that was good theme music for your story. I think so too. That's the yeah. music to the Incredible Hulk. I know. <laughs> okay, I'm it's gonna a good do. Theme song. <laughs> it's nice and sad and depressing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Bullmark. Yeah, same here. I'm gonna I'm agree gonna with Bill that. Mark, yeah. Well, guys, you know. Lightning usually doesn't strike twice, but for today it does. Yay! Congratulations. Right. You guys you won. Seth. You sweeped the round. I was wrong. It must have been that incredible Hulk music. I think so, too. I think it's <laughs> You're going to have really to use it for now. Us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was great. That's super funny, Scott. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of Wake Up Missoula. Of course, you can yes. always check us out online, uh, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice, we made you write it out twice. Um, you can like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter. You can follow us at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Facebook. And to find out more information, go to MCAT.org. But of course, um, if you're interested in being on our show, you can call us at 542-6228, otherwise known as 542-MCAT. Or you can email us mcat at mcat.org. It's our general inbox. If you want to come on our show and talk about your upcoming event, rally, cause, or concert, you're more than welcome to come on our show to talk about it, just as long as there's something going on to talk about. It's true. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, thanks for joining us. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's all I can say. Is, yeah. uh, it, it's a nice short Wednesday show. Um, we're live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and uh, we'll be um, on again this afternoon at, at 2. 2 o'clock. Yes, and if you don't have cable, no worries. You can check us out at MCAT.org on yep. channel 189, our video on demand. Yep, and yeah. also you can go to... Um, um, YouTube, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll be all, we're all over that place. We are. Type yeah. in Google, Wake Up Missoula. We're the first things that pop up. <laughs> all right. So without further ado, um, for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. For Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noel McVoy. Here's Asaph Adonai, and we will see you guys on Friday. Mm -hmm.